What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. We are in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Today, I'm going to give you a quick tour of where we're staying. Since I've been asked several times where I'm staying, I thought, hey, why not? Let me show you and maybe this will help you save some money when staying here in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Now, this place here is called the Sandcastles. It's right on the main street on the ocean side. The location is great. Directly behind is Ocho Rios Bay Beach and the Ocho Rios Marina. And to the west, you'll find the Island Village, Margaritaville, and tons of shops. The place is safe. There are guards at each gate and there are several parking lots. We rented a car, but it's been parked for pretty much most of our vacation. Everything is within walking distance, so if you need to travel far, there are taxis available. I'm staying here for 150 US dollars a night. And yes, you can find Airbnbs that are less, but they're not as modern and the location isn't as great. Of course, you can find all-inclusive resorts as well, but the least expensive ones will run you several hundred dollars a night. I chose this spot and I don't regret it at all. Let's go inside so I can show you around. Right at the entrance, there's a workstation, which I haven't used because, well, I'm on vacation. There's a nice size dining table for four. And check it out, the host, he left us some red stripe. Now I love how much light comes in. I don't like dark spaces, so having these big windows is a plus. A nice size living room with a big flat screen TV and the kitchen is fully equipped. The only thing we had to get was groceries. We went right up the street to Champion Supermarket to get a few things. Now my favorite part of the Airbnb is this view. It's beautiful. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom. You can't beat that for 150 US dollars a night. One bedroom downstairs, one bedroom upstairs. I really like the layout. Here's the first bedroom. It's a nice size. And we have AC in each room too, which is a must here in Jamaica because it's been hot. I think today it was in the high 80s. So AC is a must. Another beautiful view right from the master bedroom. Right behind is the walkway. Now to the right, it goes to the beach gate. And to the left, it goes right into Island Village. I like that because you don't really have to walk on the street if you don't want to. And by staying here, we get free access to the beach too, which is awesome. Now the bathroom is small, but it's very modern. And it has a rainfall shower head, which I love. Let's go upstairs. I really like the staircase. It's kind of fun and unique. Up here is the second bedroom. This is the one my daughter chose to stay in. She loves the windows. And it also has its own bathroom, which again is small, but it's super cute and modern. This part I love. It has a private terrace, which is a good size for my morning workouts. I've been coming up here in the mornings to stretch out, do some full body weight workouts. It's been very nice and relaxing up here. So again, I'm really happy with this place. One of the best parts is that the host is friendly and he's very responsive at all times, which makes the experience even better. Now, I hope this video helps anyone looking for something cute, modern, and affordable to stay with an amazing view. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, stay blessed.